Come closer to the bike, though. Actually, a little more, a little closer. The lights the bike further away. When you get into the sales road, I mean, everything else is, is you know, you've already done the session, the consultation, you're in the sales room, projecting. You want to make sure, whatever you're doing, to remember the, the first impression net. Uh, make sure that that first impact they get of their portrait is of a quality or of a size that you would, at least the size that you would like to them to consider for purchase, or maybe a little larger. Which means, of course, almost in every case, right now it means projecting. And you need some place you can project. Now this is 36, this is 36 by 48. And it, it's on our lazy ceiling that we can make it vertical. Yes. We got some stuffing by it to give a little friction. It's not going to move. And it needs to be fixed and see. But I'm thinking about changing it because the format of the cameras have changed quite a bit. Um, this, this is a three to four ratio, which is fairly close to four to five that we were used to using. Uh, but now we're, we're, now we're dealing with two to three, particularly on horizontals. We do a lot of horizontals in a twice and say, uh, so we'll different, different verticals. But nevertheless, if I'm projecting on this and uh, for making the selections, if, if, if I'm going to have the clients help me select, which most of us are doing, I mean, there are a few who are going to only present one or two or three, but if I'm presenting them all, I want to show them a size while they're selecting to get their experience level up a little bit. If we're building their experience level when we're doing this. Then when you get all through and you've narrowed it down, it's okay, this is the one that you like of this session, or this is the one you like of this, this setup. Uh, now let's just determine how we're going to present those. I can make these larger if we feel like we need to. Or I can make them smaller. You know what I mean? When we're soaking this into the experience, say, we, we, we're showing up options. They go bigger than this than they want. Well, they're not thinking bigger than this most of the time. And that's not always true. We've got a few clients. I'm not one coming up here pretty quick. These are came and said, I want one that size. How much is that? He didn't, he didn't break when we give him the price. So, we, you know, we know what size it's going to be, that or larger. But most people are thinking, you know, something smaller. They want your work. You've got a reputation. They forgot you built your reputation of making things big. It's not that we're good. We make them big. You can't make them good, make them big. But in any event, um, they will say, well, this that's much too large for our, our walls. We don't have any walls that big. We don't have room for that. Or I don't want my family, this isn't a bad note for them to tell me, it is, I don't want, we don't want our family to show our family off that big. But people who actually feel like it's ostentatious, you have to live very carefully, of course. <clears throat> or some families do feel, some parents feel like it's ostentatious to show their family, but you know, really, <laughs> Yeah, what, what piece of furniture at a home could be more important than the piece of furniture showing what that home is produced, you know? Um, I come home late at night, sleeping all day to make clothes and working papers, and I pass by that court journey, you know? I go, that's what it's all about. Maybe I can make it do another day, you know? This isn't what it's all about. The portrait should strike a mood, and uh, I can take a busy better, you know, in a home than to be a portrait showing what that family's produced is trying to a good mood. But anyhow, we're projecting, we've decided on the ones we like, so we're gonna, now we're going to consider size. And so what we need to see some, at least can we see something smaller? Well, of course we can. Our job is to show you what your options are. I just wanted you to know that you have the opportunity to do this. So then you start down. I do not like jumping down like this. I like a smooth transition. <laughs> Because I'll guarantee you that if I zoom this down, this is 36 by 48. If I go down to 44 by, uh, oh, see, I'll, see, I'll go down to 46 by 34. That's only two inches each way down. It's a lot smaller. And it'll, it'll, it'll get smaller as you do it. Then you can go another little, another little bit as you go down. When you get comfortable, let me know when you feel like this size is comfortable. I'm doing their thing. I'm doing what they wanted. I can almost guarantee you when you get down in there somewhere, you know, into here, you know, so you know that's better. That's great. And this looks like there's a uh, mat around the portrait. Well, it could, yeah. It could, yeah. You have it sized already. But what you could do is, you know, I have to grab a frame. 
give your size and hold over in two, which, which specifically is even better, but it's still the impact of a frame. People say, well, would you use a screen? You know, screens work as far as size are concerned, but you have to remember that a screen is symbolic of a movie theater or a home movie, and those things are cheap. Movies are cheap. Anything projected on a screen is not a painting or a portrait, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's, it's a modern thing on a screen. So it's better It's better to have, well, every, a blank wall, I think, is even is better, is almost as good as anything. It's a blank wall, you can project right on it. If you put some, we're going to some cards here pretty soon that we thought that we use when we're on location. You haven't decided yet. You're looking at options. And you always make that clear. We really want to make sure at this point in time that you can understand what it is, the things that you can do. It's going to be your choice. Somehow you want to bring that, before you continue any further, you want to bring that zooming that projector back up to the size you originally were. So you're going to look at some more or some different things or get that projector back up. Don't stay down a small. This is before you're showing all the portraits or this is after they've never narrowed it that, down. That's after they've narrowed it down. We're going to narrow it down. We're going to narrow it down on the big, on the, on the big. So this is when we're selecting. Yeah. And we're selecting it furthermore in the group portraits so that we do practically poise. We're zooming up even from that to see faces. Mm -hmm. You do an awful lot of that. You're not really setting a synopsis of what the portrait's going to look like. You're 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 determining details. Mm -hmm. And if you well, once you get it narrowed down to what you want, what what they the image that they want, you've got to determine a size. All I'm saying is keep their experience level somewhere in the area of what you would like to sell them. It's your business. Now they're going to buy from you. It's their choice, but it's your business and your job to show them what their options are. So I'm not going to keep that option too small, too long, and I think it ought to be bigger. So we'll just zoom back up again, and pretty soon you see, okay, now what size do we do we think we want on this? Let's, what do you think will fit? You know, if I know something about their home, I say, you know, my my notes tell me that you could easily do something like this. You say, well, we're going to have to go a little bit smaller. See, so again, do this again. So you come down again. Probably this time, you won't go quite as far as you did the time before. Do they have prices in front of them when you're doing this? You can. You could throw prices. See, you could throw prices. Yeah. The list depends on the people. Some people some people want the prices from the word go. Right. Which makes it a little tougher because they're dealing with that all the time. <clears throat> when you get into the larger sizes, there's not that much difference in prices. Yes. Is it, would you, wouldn't you say it's better, though? Even prices can always be an awkward situation, but is it better for us to... Deal with the price. Is it, it wouldn't it be worse to deal with the prices later on once they say, "Hey, I want the fifty inch," and then you say, "Okay, it's it's three thousand dollars," and they're shocked. I mean, it's better to you 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 at least need to set some expectation earlier on, don't we? Absolutely, absolutely. You want to do this in such a time and such a way that you don't lose the client. If you want to keep the client, now some people when they find what you're selling is out of their range, they don't decide to go somewhere else. You have to you have to. You don't want to do them to decide that after you invested all the work. You have to decide at that point whether you want to keep them or not. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's one thing. It's one thing to uh, what do they call it when you uh, um, you determine whether a client is right for you or not. Um, I want to say steady your clients. I don't know what I'm talking about. Qualify. Yeah. yeah. You you in your qualifying process, if you really hip it, as some photographers are, this is good. My experience has been in, in Yakima Valley, in the farming community. It's very difficult to qualify somebody when they aren't experienced with what it is you're doing. They know they, they know they want a portrait by you. Maybe they didn't know that. Nowadays, I don't think they care who does it, unfortunately. But there was a time when they would seek out the ones they thought were the best. And so if they know they want you to do their portrait, that's one thing. Uh, but they, if they don't, if, if over the telephone, you get into the pricing thing, you may lose that a good potential client. You may build their experiences with your contacts with them over a period of several meetings to where they'll get up to the point to where they're ready to buy what you have to sell. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It's hard to determine when's the best time to get into the pricing thing. Certainly when you're projecting, you have to talk about the pricing. At this point, definitely you're going to do the pricing. Like in our case, this is 
this is about twenty two hundred and fifty dollars, I think, on the price test. Something like that. It's thirty six by forty eight. And the thirty by forty, which is quite a bit smaller, the sixteen eighty five. So there is a difference, but there's not a whole well, lot of difference, you know what I mean, between between that and that. It was going to make a big impact in the room. My whole point is, psychologically, I didn't want to spend quite as much time on this one say, is, is that do your best to keep that image at the level that you would like for them to consider for purchase, for their primary purchase, their first purchase. Once we do that, and we're making additional purchases, there's many, many things we can do. Uh, they can do things like this, you know. That's 24 is it? You know what I mean? 11 by 24. Really a nice little panorama. A half dozen of these for the some families and the kids. They're a nice sale. They're about 600 bucks a piece, you know, or whatever. For that primary person, you just want to be careful and keep that experience level high. And you have to be careful when you're projecting because when you get down in the signs and the tendency sometimes to stay there. All I'm saying is, you see that screen size, you, you see that image is pretty small up there for whatever reason. Figure out some way to get it back up again, either by building or going to another image and a bigger size or something and so forth. 